Okay guys, just a quick little video. The This video is of a water leak call out that I had tonight. I got a call, I actually had two of them tonight. I painted the underground house all day today, but probably an hour before I decided to quit there, I got a phone call that a, a customer had come home from a month in Nicaragua actually and they had a note on their front door from the city saying they had used 27,000 gallons of water and the city had turned it off while they were out of town. Went over there, checked that. They had a split in a galvanized line underneath their hot water heater is actually the hot line under the floor. Steam does tremendous amounts of damage with the mold it causes and all that. It's much worse than a cold water break. and. Hot water lines seem to fail more than cold water lines. I don't know if that's a scientific fact, but in my business, I've noticed that. Now, I got him fixed. It took me two hours. So I just, he paid my normal call out for the first hour, and then I had to run another hour beyond with my supply run and everything to get him going. But while I was there, I got a message on my phone that the house that we're replacing doing some tile work in i'm just kind of helping her learn to tile well she said she walked in the bathroom and it looked like there was some buckling in the laminate flooring she had laminate wood in the bathroom that pergo stuff and she wanted me to come by and see if it was a water leak or anything tonight so i went out there to look at that and this is just an example of why you should take every little job that you can if it's in your skill set if someone calls and it's a small problem go there and look at it for them because this was a 65 dollars call out to check the floor and see if there's a leak for the first hour i get there and now you'll see the damage in this video next but it's going to be a several day job and probably pay well over a thousand dollars She's thrilled that I can do it in two days and have her whole floor back in and it'd only be $1,000. So it's great. But you have to take the little jobs and actually go there to get them. If I had skipped and said, I can't make it, can you just check it? Can you do it? Can you call someone else to do it tonight? I'm too busy. I've already done two calls. Then I would have missed out on two really good days of work there that are going to be Rel relatively easy. A couple of sheets of three-quarter subfloor after I dry the flooring out and and I'm done. And then, you know, cover it back up with some luxury vinyl plank is what she's going to go back with. So fast, easy, one-day floor. And I'll still get to put the shower in there also. But that's the key to this business. Take the jobs when they call. If someone calls and they just need a doggy door installed, go install it. Make the 65 bucks. The next time they need a big project, you're the number that they have. It's incredibly effective. But it's almost 7.30 here again, and this is actually the earliest night I've had off this week. I've been about 9.30 every night getting home. But I'm not going to complain. The day will come when I'm not getting calls like this consistently. Granted, normally the winter is my slowest time. The summer is generally wall-to-wall -wall work but fortunately this winter has been that way too anyway hope you all have a good evening and check out what this floor was like at her uh, house the call that i walked into tonight said they had a little floor buckling thought they might have a leak this is what we've torn out look at the black everywhere it turns out this little piece of pex got a split in it right down there where that silver where that new fitting is i replaced it but now we'll have to replace 16 feet of sub floor the up the flooring probably go back with a vinyl plank now and try to get this ready this is in the bathroom that we're fixing to put the new shower in so i'll be getting on that 